Hey guys, so I hope you guys are doing well. And so this is what I wanted to bring to you guys really quick. So I don't know if you guys got a chance to watch the um, Jesus Revolu Revolution. Um, and I didn't get a chance to watch it in the movie theaters. However, I did get a, um, um, excuse me, a chance to watch it. I actually ordered it off of YouTube. And I mean, that movie like completely just touched my heart. Now, um, I had put in a community tab there to share the link. That way anybody that didn't get a chance to watch it, they could have watched it as well for free because I had to rent it for like 48 hours and I wanted to be able just to share that movie with others. Uh, you know, that movie truly just blessed my heart and you know, it really just shows us the love of Jesus Christ and it really just teaches us, you know, and always just honestly a reminder of who Jesus is, that he's a servant at heart. And you know, with those, um, you know, they were living a life and yes, they were hippies. A lot of them were, you know, probably maybe into psychedelics and stuff like that. Um, and you know, they were really searching for, I guess you could say, a higher power or like searching for something deeper but they just couldn't find it and because they were looking at it and looking for it in the wrong places and in the wrong way and I come thank you Jesus this is what what really said in my spirit about that movie a lot of people that are being strayed away from this new age movement are really searching for something deeper they want to go higher in god they they want to go higher they know that it's more than to the surface of what they have what what it is to experience with god and you can easily be led astray with these movements and certain things when you're trying to search and seek for the father but you don't know the proper way or the biblical way to get to him to access him Thank you, Jesus. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. And so there's a thing where, you know, we're, through prayer and through worship and to spend in time with him, those are ways that you access him, that you get to know him, that you're in a relationship with him. The intimacy is the way that you increase yourself in the Lord Jesus Christ. And we see that, you know, there were hippies, but you see as, as, thank you, Jesus, that there were some that had came into the light but they wanted to know jesus in such a deeper way and they were brought into the church but one thing that really just hurt me my spirit let me just say grieved my spirit was that you literally have people in the church that got up and chose to walk away yes they didn't come in there without their shoes on yes they came in there into to, into the modern day church right now that might be a little radical but you know what at least they was coming to find out about jesus at least they were eager to sit at the feet and to sit at the feet of jesus and find out more about him and so you know they would came to sit at the feet of jesus to learn about him and i i just we just it's such a beautiful movement because so many people came to Jesus during that movement. The thing is, when you get a revelation about who Jesus is, your life changes. You are never the same when you get that revelation about who Jesus is. I do believe that many that have strayed away or that are coming in to know Jesus, once you get that revelation, once you get that encounter, you are truly never the same. And we have to remember, that there are going to be some people that's going to come in that might not look like what the world says they supposed to look like coming into the church. Hear me, children of God. There's going to be people that's going to come in. Yes, they might have piercings. Yes, they might have tattoos. Yes, their hair might be colorful. 
Yes, they might even walk in barefoot. Come on in here in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. But I'm going to tell you something, children of God. Yes, Lord. I'm going to tell you something, children of God. But they're going to come in there. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, God. Eager to serve the Lord. Eager to praise his name eager do not turn away people children of god do not turn people away in this season because they're going to need pure vessels of jesus christ they're going to need to see the love of jesus christ